Here's the question. Does this series converge or diverge? And I am going to try the integral test. for using the integral test? Well, let, for, first, let's say what f is. f of x is what? f of x. ln x over x. What are the three conditions? Continuous. Continuous. Positive. Positive. Decreasing. decreasing. And this is on the interval 1 to infinity. So f of x must be Continuous, positive, and decreasing. And I will say that the integral test is for all x, but it's really, it's eventually. Um, so let's, let's take a look at this. I'll look at it on this entire interval because Raphael's keeping me on my toes here. Um, is it continuous? Yes. Where is f of x discontinuous? At zero. Is it positive? Well, not at one. At zero. But after one, is it positive? Yes. Okay, so we're, we're good then. Decreasing, this one is one of those questions I really haven't addressed much yet. Decreasing, well, I really should do this for decreasing. I, it's hard to tell because X is getting bigger, 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 both in the numerator and the denominator. And you might argue that it's getting bigger in the denominator quicker than the numerator, but we'll do this real quick. Do you remember this from last semester? Decreasing? Let's find f prime of x. Okay, I need the quotient rule. f prime of x, the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. So this reduces to 1 minus ln x over x squared. Critical numbers? Let's see, critical numbers. Um, I guess the denominator is 0 at 0, but, uh, and then it's undefined, ln 0 is undefined. But, um, and in fact, that's not even on the interval we're looking at, so we're okay with that. To get critical numbers, I'm going to put the numerator equal to 0. 1 minus ln x is 0, so 1 equals the natural log of x. Natural log of what equals 1? E. And if you're not sure how to solve this, this is log base E. E to the first power, that's the exponent, equals X. There it is, X equals E. That's a critical number. If I put that on the number line. Now the smallest, I'll put... Now, I can't even pick zero. Let's make that a one because my interval starts at one. Pick something between one and E. How about two? E is about 2.718. Pick two. One minus the natural log of two. That is negative. And the bottom part's positive. The, the, 1 minus the natural log of 2 is positive. Thank you. Yes. And so uh, the F is increasing. Pick something bigger than E. 
How about 10? 1 minus the natural log of 10. That's negative, and 10 squared is positive. Negative over a positive is negative. Decreasing. This function is decreasing from e to infinity. So it's decreasing eventually. So that's good enough. So it's continuous. It is positive. If we don't count x equal 1, it is decreasing if we look from e on out. So I can use the integral test. Now, you have to so rigorously prove that it's decreasing. If I just like plug a bunch of values into my calculator and see that it's decreasing eventually. You know what? I can't answer that question. We wouldn't know till we grade the paper. OK. Let, I'll come back to that question in a few minutes. All right. so. So let's do the integral test. I want to do the integral. We could do the integral from 3 to infinity. Well, 1 to infinity would be fine, but to play it safe, I'll go 3 to infinity because now I'm looking at this series. K goes from 1 to infinity, ln k over k. If I plug in 1, that's ln 1 over 1. If I plug in 2, that's ln 2 over 2. And then I'll consider the rest. The two terms at the beginning are not going to affect the convergence or divergence of this problem. So, but to, to make sure I'm following all of this, I'll go from 3 to infinity. So I'm just looking at this part of the problem. Well, this is going to be from 3 to infinity, ln x over x dx. I'm going to rewrite this as a limit. The limit as t approaches infinity, the integral from 3 to t of, well, that's ln x times 1 over x dx. How do I work this problem? It is u substitution, where u equals ln x, and then 1 over x dx is du. Here's my du. Here's the u. So what is the antiderivative? It would be ln x squared over 2. Or maybe I'll just put a 1 half in the front. I, I didn't put the u and the du in. I'm trying to be as mathematically precise as possible. If I put in the u and the du, you could argue I should change 3 and t. And I just prefer to keep them 3 and t. So now let's plug in my numbers. So I'm going to have the limit as t approaches infinity of 1 half ln t squared minus 1 half of ln 3 squared. What does that limit equal? That is infinity or it does not exist. So the integral diverges. What about the series? Diverges. diverges. Since the integral diverges, then the series does as well. <laughs> 